The following videos is problem four, five, and six from the test four mini test review sheet. Um, the, these problems are some of the harder ones that might be under test, and I wanted to go over them with you. Okay, so if you look at this, uh, you're simplifying fractions. And when you simplify fractions with variables, you need to consider the fraction separate from the variable. And so let's consider the 24 over 48 first, and we need to simplify that. And so you need to always ask yourself, what goes into both of those? Well, what goes into both 24 and 48? Well, 2 does. 6 does. So you want to consider things. Oh, I see a 6 that goes into both those. So you could divide both sides by 6, the top and the bottom, and you get an equivalent fraction of 4 over 8. And then at this point, you probably recognize that, oh, wait a second, 4 over 8 equals 1 over 2. So the equivalent part of the fraction is 1 over 2. So now let's go ahead and rewrite this as 1x squared over 4x to the 4th. We dealt with the 24 over 48. Now we just have the 1x squared over 4x uh, to the 4th. We don't even really need that one, so we'll leave that out next. So how do I deal with an x squared over an x to the 4th? Well, x squared is the same as x times x, and x to the 4th is 4x's. So what do I do? Well, I cross out the things that are there, which is x and an x, x and an x. Those are the things they have in common. So on the bottom, I'm left with 1 over 4x squared. And that's my answer. Okay, you cross out, you're able to cancel out these, those divide out, and then you're left with 1 over 4x squared. x times x is x squared. Okay, the second problem, again, deal with the 35 over 28 first. It's very obvious to me that what goes into both those, right? A 7 goes into 35 and a 7 goes into 28. And so you're left with 7 goes into 35 five times, so you're left with 5a squared b over 4b squared. Now deal with the variables. Well, do it like we said, which is to list them out. So that's going to be 5a times a times b over 4b times b. And you look for what they have in common. Well, what they have in common are they both have a b, so you can cancel that b out. Nothing else can be canceled because nothing else is the same, and so you're left with 5a squared over 4b. And that's your answer. And then the last one um, that we have um, a little bit harder. It's 112 ABC squared over 42 A squared BC. Again, very important to do the 112 over 42 first. So let's just take care of that first. So 112 over 42. Well, I know 2 goes into both those. 2 goes into 112 56 times. 2 goes into 42 21 times. Well, 2 doesn't go into both those. 3 doesn't go into 56 because 5 plus 6 is 3. It's 11, not 12. It needs to be 12 for that to work. 5 doesn't go into them. 7 does, right? 7 goes into 56 8 times. 7 goes into 21 3 times. And so you end up with 8, 7, 56 divided by 7 over 3. Now we rewrite the problem with the variables. A, B, C squared over A squared, B, C. Write it out without exponents. And all we do that is we just take the c squared and make it c times c right there, and then the a squared and make it a times a. Now we cancel out what they have in common. They each have one a, they each have one b, they each have one c. So what's left over is 8c, those two, over 3a. So 8c over 3a is the correct answer.